Hi everyone, I'm coming at you today with the haul of the century, I would say, the haul of the year. I have been waiting for this since December. I placed my order in December and I am beyond stoked that I received it and it is an absolutely amazing company. Um, I heard so much about this company and I thought, man, could it really be this good? Yes, it is that good and I have to thank Jen for turning me on to this and this company is the magnificent Mona Lisa. If you have not heard about Mona Lisa, um, yeah, you need to jump on the train because she is awesome. These products are amazing. <clears throat> she has um, sales, I think I heard, I'm not sure, it was about four times a year. I jumped on the <clears throat> winter sale. And um, there was just a sale this last weekend that I'm so bummed out that I missed because it was all her chocolate stuff. But I'm just stoked to get this and I got this today and I just have to tell you that these are the most beautiful arena like everything. There was, everything is all. There's not one scent I don't like which blows my mind because there's always something on my like, eh, not this. These were amazing. This is the best quality stuff. I gotta say this stuff is the bomb um yeah and I heard she's also an artist I'm not sure if she made this but if she did she's awesome it came with these beautiful cards the box itself I tore apart but the colors in the box were brown with this green and like a teal color the blue and it was just beautiful and here are some of the little things that she sent me I was just like, wow, her packaging is amazing. I don't even know how she got everything in the box she sent me because the box was not that big, but it all fit. <clears throat> Look at that. And I ended up getting two, four, five of her Enchanted Winter um, 2001 Collection uh, Bubbling Bath Salt. And then she gave me one for free. I got um, three of the big ones, and there's one that she has not sent me yet. This, for some reason, that's the only thing that did not come to me in my order. So um, that's on the way. And it's a gingerbread one. And then I also got two, I got two, four, six, eight of the um, <clears throat> sugar scrub parfaits. And these are the um, other sugar scrubs. And then I got one, two, three, four, five, six. No, two, four, five of the Enchanted Winter um creams and they're cocoa creams so they're like um, cocoa butter creams they're just beautiful and then these are what she gave me along with this and I gotta say this is a bath salt and the scent on this one is um, lemon lime ginger soda well I'm so glad because Waige was here to be able to see what he got me for Christmas this was my gift and he smelt it um yeah and he took it it's been claimed I cannot have it now which is really sad because I really love the way this smells. This smells like lemon lime soda. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to go through my <clears throat> bath brews. And I think I'm going to go through winter porridge. And you could smell it through the, the bag. Um, I'll open it for you so that you can see what it looks like. I thought these were going to come in tins. But I'm happy with the box. They're gorgeous. And it comes like this. Inside the box there's a bag of this beautiful white salt with oil. And um, it's a beautiful amount. Oh, okay, I'm going to be big Mexican. This reminds me of um, a mix between arroz con leche, avena, and caprotada, which is a bread pudding. Because it's all, almost rummy and raisiny, yet at the same time, it's like a super sweet milk. Cinnamony, this is freaking awesome. I love this. A lot of product. I cannot wait to use this. It's gorgeous. Highly scented. Beautiful. And uh, she says this does get a little oily, which I'm excited about because I have super dry skin. You can see my skin is shiny because I've already been using some stuff. But this is beautiful. So yeah, this one is from Winter Porridge and it's gorgeous so yummy the next one is is it Bifana <clears throat> I'm sorry if I kill that name and again <clears throat> I got two of those and you get this and Rena loved this one and it is a honey scent it's absolutely gorgeous and I'm gonna see what the way they describe it here they describe it 
<clears throat> as a honey and butter bath cream, um, honey and butter, and this smells very honey. It smells like a deep, dark honey, and like a oh, this is just so good. To me, I don't know about the butter, but it's almost musky, fruity, florally, and this is the bomb. I was very surprised. I wasn't sure. It did not smell like I thought it was going to be, but it was a pleasant surprise. This just smells so, I, I would imagine, this is how like a, a beautiful lady in a castle or something would smell. This is just so breathtaking. This is absolutely gorgeous. Love this. So it does smell like honey. It's, it's a very rich, thick, like creamy honey scent. Love it. And my favorite of the three, because I got also got two of these as well as the Pifana, is this um, one, and this is Solstice Night Stroll. And oh my gosh. This is awesome. This smells to me. I instantly saw a, myself sitting in a brook, the water, beautiful grass, flowers, little, you know, fire bugs. Just, oh, this is gorgeous. It smells like a brook and just so outdoorsy. Oh, just, I just love this. I'm very into Arthurian legends, so of course this took me back to those days. I can just imagine sitting by the water or the Lady of the Lake, or have you ever seen those pictures? This just reminds me of water. I don't know why, but it just reminds me of outside and water. It's not mentholy at all. Oh my God, I wish, I, I should have just gotten the way I described it. I want to describe how I think it is. It's just beautiful. Almost citrusy. I'm sure there are some herbs in there I don't know about. But this is gorgeous. I love this. And it is a surprise. I did not expect to like this one as much as I do. But this is my favorite of the three. And this is so beautiful. It's just refreshing. Mmm. Very herbal. Very fresh. Oh, it's almost... Eucalyptus -y. No, you know what? I take it back. It's like piney. It's like outside pine. Mmm, that's good. More smell. Something different comes to my mind. So I'm just going to stop right now. This is the bomb. Absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Solstice night stroll. Awesome. I can imagine strolling and just smelling this. Mmm. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. This is a beautiful, very light sea salt. And it does have the oils in it. And I just love how it's so fresh and powdery. I mean, it is so powdery. Um, I will show you the ingredients. I'm not going to go through all of them. That's about it. <laughs> that quick. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Now, like I said, she did give me this one. And it's absolutely beautiful. And um, oh, my husband just smelled it. And he was like, he saw it and he was so excited. He's like, man, I mean, he smelled it. He was excited. He was, I like this one. I'm using this one tonight. And it does smell like lemon lime soda. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's so refreshing. I'm so sorry I didn't hit up this um, sale, but yeah, Arena has to um, have some teeth removed, some molars removed, and some teeth because she's getting her braces. So that comes first for us. I'm just so glad my husband got to see what he got me for Christmas. Oh, this smells so good. Absolutely beautiful. Now this is her coffee butter sugar scrub and look at how beautiful that is. The artwork on that, very pretty. Nice size. Yeah, I already had my fingers in here. I'm gonna say how many ounces. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, this reminds me of sitting in a coffee house. Look at that, you can see the coffee beans in there, ground it up along with the sugars. It's a beautiful, light, light powdery sugar consistency. And it's packed in there really, really good. Man, I'm telling you, I've used this. This is absolutely awesome. It gives you a very soft exfoliation, but that does not mean it's not super exfoliating. It is exfoliating, but it's very soft, so it doesn't hurt you. Man, this leaves your skin so beautiful, extremely moisturizing, you guys. I cannot say enough about these. I am in love with these. I, I'm just, they were worth the wait. They were worth the wait. They were worth it. They're absolutely gorgeous. I've never experienced anything like these. 
see how that looks a little dry it's not dry it's full of oil and as soon as water hits it and you rub it it melts into this beautiful um, after the exfoliation is gone this beautiful oil that I can't even describe it's literally an experience you have to have you have to try these it is worth the way the shopping experience is something else the whole thing is just it's just amazing oh gorgeous love that the next one is Christmas pudding and I just want you to see how beautiful that is I just can't believe these labels and stuff she has this chick is a genius man she's just so creative she's a total artist and there's this one again it's super packed hard but it's so soft to the touch oh man that's just gorgeous oh man this is nice um this reminds me of uh, my husband is from England and this reminds me of a super sweet custard this really does this reminds me of custard custard and almost um there's a pudding I just had the other day from a French restaurant but it reminds me a lot of spotted dick and I know it's a stupid name but if you've ever had it it's this it's this um it's like a bread if you're if you're Spanish it reminds me of capirotada because it's like a bread pudding it's this pudding and you put custard over it that's what it smells like it's gorgeous oh man that is so good Mm, her, and her scents are just a perfect amount not light not medium but not too highly scented just absolutely perfect perfect this one is snuggler which is chocolate cookies and s'more center look at the bottom it just has different layers and look at the top oh my god this really reminds me of um, a thick chocolate ooey gooey brownie with like marshmallows and mint. This is awesome. I mean this is so good. I just love the layers that she does and I want you to see her artwork. How beautiful this is. The gnomes are so adorable. I love gnomes. These are the most beautiful labels ever. And just the layers on all her scrubs and everything. It's just gorgeous. These are the most amazing scrubs. They are beyond what I was expecting. Just beyond. Um, they're just... If you could think of the most perfect thing you could get. I, I wouldn't have even hit as good as this. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, I can't, use to use, I can't wait to use that one. God, that smells so good. I just want to get a spoon and eat it. This one is Christmas Coconut with Christmas coconut center and again the beautiful um, labels and this looks like this on the bottom the different layers and yeah I had my finger in there this reminds me if you've ever bought authentic butter cookies and they have some with coconut this smells like an authentic rich buttery cookie with coconut um, I thought a macaroon but no this is more like a butter cookie Oh my god, and this is just gorgeous. It also smells like those taffy cookies. You know mother's cookies in California? They have mother's cookies. They have the taffy ones. And they're these two coconut cookies with cream in the middle. Muna, girl, that's what you made. Those are my favorite cookies. Straight up taffy cookies. Oh my god. And my papa passed away, but this so took me back to my papa. Nostalgia girl. Oh, this is amazing. This smells like taffy cookies. Gorgeous. Yes. This one is winter porridge with apple butter center. Oh my gosh, can't wait to hit that bad boy. Mmm, this smells like a beautiful, um, like an avena, an oatmeal, but more of a sweet, milky. Um, <clears throat> this reminds me a lot of condensed milk. It really has that sweet, condensed milk scent to it. I don't smell apple butter yet, but I'm sure it's in there somewhere. Oh, but this just reminds me of arroz con leche with a rice pudding with condensed milk and cinnamon. Oh my gosh, that is just so... Should I, you guys? Oh my gosh. No, I did not. Yes, I did. Oh, it smells even better in there. Look at... I ruined it. it. Bad Mia. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Oh my gosh. And you know what? This is, look at this. Look at that. That's oil and it's not even sticky and that's sugar. And it doesn't feel sticky. It just feels beautiful and oily. Oh, that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. This has got to be one of my favorites. I'm going to show you the bottom. This one is Gilded Pear. And look how beautiful. This smells like... <sighs> this smells like a baked pear and brown sugar. Rena thinks it also smells like apple cider. And it kind of does. Oh my God. It smells so freaking good. It's like a baked pear with apple and cinnamon and oh my god that is so good you guys it's it's unbelievable I'm just blown away by these scents I'm blown away by these products I mean I was just I've, I've seen so many reviews and I thought how good can they be and they so far past my expectations I mean I'm just sitting here with my mouth open like oh I cannot believe how awesome these are look at how beautiful that looks like something to eat oh beautiful gilded pear now the next one I got two of and I really regret not getting absolutely everything in this um, and this one is the Duchess of Willowdale let me see if I can get this off again we have the darker scrub on the top with the different layers. I don't remember it being described as smelling this good. Oh my god. This is the freaking bomb. This is my absolute favorite. I remember seeing someone asking her if she was going to have anything in this scent and she said yeah she was going to do it and I thought hmm I have to get some. <coughs> oh my god this to me just smells like chocolate and caramel and I don't know if it's supposed to then it smells like deliciousness it's fruity it's caramelly it's milky it's chocolatey it's uh, it's freaking awesome and I don't know if it's supposed to smell like that maybe my nose is broke or it wants it but it smells delicious you literally want to get a spoon and eat this. This smells so freaking good and I love this. And I'm so glad I got two of them. Oh, Duchess of Willowdale. Beautiful. Mwah. Bravo. Gorgeous. And this is the Bifana um, with honey and butter. Rena really liked this one. And, um... It's a little stronger. It's more of a citrusy honey. And fruity, musky, and floral. That is, and this is, I would say, like a unisex scent. Very pretty. Very, um, oh, wow. It's just very, for some reason, I could just see a beautiful, um, woman. Or a, maybe a bedroom in a castle with a huge fireplaces. And I can just smell this there. This is just so beautiful. I love this scent. The last of my scrubs is Snow Ice with Snow Ice. Uh. <clears throat> and I think she actually used Snow Ice to make this. This is very, very um, beautiful. This also reminds me of condensed milk, but it's a more milky, sweetie, um, and fresh scent. You smell it, and it just smells like outside. Very fresh, but very milky and, and creamy. Mmm, this is absolutely gorgeous. I love this one. It, it's very condensed milky to me. Doesn't have all the cinnamon and all that like the other one did, but this is just so good. Hi, kitty. There's Hero right there. Let me show you Hero. Hi, Hero. What doing? What doing? What? Hi, Hero. 
Harold's mad. <laughs> He's my grouchy kitty. And right there, Yoshi. Yoshi Bear. Is Yoshi my big turkey butt? Hi, Hero. What doing, boy? My baby. All right. Next are her cocoa creams. And these are like thick, um, they're really light and, um, really whipped. But they're like a, um, a butter. They're, they're just awesome. This one is Venetian Coffee Swirl. And I'm going to show you how beautiful these are. You see, they're like a really nice whipped light butter. Oh, dang, you guys. This totally reminds me of a coffee house. This is so good. Coffee and cream and sweet milk. It's gorgeous. And look at this. I mean, it's, it's thick. Super thick yet whipped. And when you use it, it turns into a beautiful, like an oil almost. Oh man, this is gorgeous. But it seeps in your skin really nice and quickly. My hands look shiny when I use it. But they're not greasy. I can't explain it to you. This is definitely for dry skin. If you had oily skin, I would not say this is for anybody with oily skin. This is more towards the dry skin, definitely. But this is beautiful. I mean, this is such a beautiful recipe. Um, <clears throat> I mean, look at that. It's just so lightly whipped. If I could show you that. It's gorgeous. Excuse my nails, you know, you guys. I'm going to get my nails done again, but they need a break because the nail beds are just breaking and splitting, too. It's just terrible. <clears throat> yes, this is good stuff. Smells just like Cornell Coffee House. Love it. It's going to go perfect with that right there. Mmm, trying to match everything now. <laughs> <clears throat> then I got Christmas coconut. And look at, again, the artwork, how beautiful that is. I love the little gnomes. They're so cute. And the Christmas coconut... It's going to go beautiful with, where's the other coconut I have with the Christmas coconut scrub? Mmm. Yeah, this smells more like coconut. Oh, the scent is stronger. This is so, this smells more like a coconut macaroon to me than a sugar cookie. I love this. Mmm, so it's almost like you get two experiences, two different scents in one, and I love that. Again, that beautiful whipped cream. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. And I got another one, and this is in Snuggler. Same recipe. This is supposed to be like <clears throat> chocolate with marshmallows, and I'm telling you, this right here smells like the most decadent, dark chocolatey brownie with awesome, chewy, creamy mint. Oh my gosh. That's just what I smell. And it's freaking divine. Ugh. It's decadent. It's just beautiful. Oh, that smells so good. Wow, that's gorgeous. Love that. I just want to eat it. Mmm, I can smell when you rub it on your skin. <sighs> it just smells like a rich, creamy, sweet, gooey, chocolatey, minty scent. Oh, so good. Gosh, these are awesome. Then I got not one, but two of the Duchess of Willowdale. And, um, <clears throat> oh, same thing. I smell chocolate. I smell beautiful, delicious goodies. Cream. Just milky, super sweet chocolatey and I don't know I don't remember it being described that way I remember it being described more herbal if I'm correct I could have lost the plot there for a while shopping I mean I was losing my mind mmm this smells so so good I love this one I'm so glad I got a couple um <clears throat> I have two I am <clears throat> not sure if I'm going to keep this in the scrub because I do have one of each extra or what I'm going to do with it, um, I most likely would keep it, but I was, I don't know. These are just, they went through, I went through so much to get these, you guys. Um, yeah, it's a challenge to get anything, so I'm not sure. I have to think about what I'm going to do with them, <clears throat> or if I'm going to um, actually give them away. So, we'll see. 
and I got her lip butter in chai tea mocha. It smells more like chai, like chai tea. Very nice. I love the spices and the way it feels on your lips. Oh, it just melts on your lips. It just melts as soon as it touches your lips. It's like melt. I didn't notice this have taste. Man, this tastes like chai tea. That is cool. That is a trip. I didn't even know that. Mmm. That's good. <laughs> well, what do you know? This is awesome. It's um really nice. It it's it glides on like an oil, but it's not greasy. It just absorbs in. Beautiful. And then I got another one. I tried for the red velvet cake, guys, like two times, couldn't get it. But I did get zucchini bread with caramel, icing, and nutmeg. <clears throat> it looks like this. Mmm, dang, that's good. Dude, I can't even believe how you got it to taste like that. Tastes just like it says. Oh my gosh. That is good. And look at the art. Um, very pretty. I love it. I had to kind of sad because I kind of had to tear off that part. But it had the little thing for you to tear off because of the um, label. I love how she did that. It was on top so that this doesn't come off and it doesn't get all over the place. And then it has a little place where it tears by itself. So that's really cool. I just love all her packaging and stuff. And then I got this beautiful water soluble massage and bath oil, Fantasia. It has um, cedarwood, um, it says in it. Oh my gosh, and this is actually really nice. It's like a really nice, sultry scent. I can see it as a massage oil. I can feel that. <laughs> I can dig it. <clears throat> really nice. I got this for free. I got this for free. And this is a uh, whip soap foaming bath butter in southern blackberry jam cake. This is what Rena's eyes call bin. I'm so sorry I missed this. It smells like freaking blackberry jam with cake. Oh my god, this is good. <laughs> awesome, this is so delicious. And then she gave me this adorable little vial right here of a nourishing cuticle balm. And it says that the oils of the balm are chosen for the nourishing and penetrating qualities. And you use it on your cuticles. <clears throat> Look at this. I was just like tripping out how cute this was. Let me open it. And there's your balm. You put it on and it turns oil like oils. And you put it on your nails and your cuticles, and I'm just going to show you how it looks. Look at that. Gorgeous. It feels soft like silk. So this was my amazing haul from Muna Lisa. Thank you so much, Muna, for everything you gave me, for all your beautiful gifts. Girl, it was worth the wait. Thank you for making such amazing and autumn product, awesome products. I can't even speak. I'm just overwhelmed. These are the bomb. Um, I am definitely going to use these and wait to her next sale and then just get some more of those. These are awesome. I didn't get her soaps. I hear they're mountain pour, but they are just as creamy as cold process and they are beautiful. Now, buying this was an experience. Um, when I went on there, I heard, get this. If you want the scrubs, go for the scrubs first or the soaps because... So I wanted the scrubs and... I got the scrubs that I wanted, but by the time I went, I was done in three minutes because I got one of everything. By the time I went to get the soaps, in five minutes, the soaps were all sold out. You have a 20-minute hold period, so when you get it in your your um, your cart, it stays there for 20 minutes. But some stuff wasn't staying, so <clears throat> it is an experience. You have to get in there. You have to wait. You have to refresh to get, you know, as soon as it starts, then you gotta just keep going and going and going and going. It was really, really fun shopping. Um, I had a blast trying to get all this stuff. Um, 
and it was just an experience to remember and now I know what to do you have to make a list if you're gonna go what you do is you go on Facebook to Mona Lisa and she has a Facebook she will announce when she's gonna be having her sales and when she does she opens up the cartel so you can see exactly what she's gonna have for sale you know so you can go through it make your list because you're gonna want a list because right when it opens up at 12 o'clock you're gonna wanna be in there know what you want and you're gonna just be fighting everybody and you're gonna go and it's fun and it's frustrating and it's everything cool you can imagine I had a blast sitting there by myself with my little list just going to town and I laughed the whole time <coughs> I couldn't stop laughing it was amazing um, yes are these as awesome as I heard they're better they're better than what I thought they're better than what I heard they are the most amazing scrubs I use it they are the most moisturizing scrubs they have the most soft exfoliation but they exfoliate really well um, they turn into an oil not a lotion they're for all skin types because they're not ex greasy um, the scents are the best scents I have ever, ever tried. They're different from everybody else's scents. I haven't smelled anything that comes to this. What can I compare them to? I can compare them to House of Glory. House of Glory scrubs are almost, but not like these. These are softer. These are more um, delicate. And they're just gorgeous. I love House of Glory but these are in a category all their own but if I had to choose um, to compare them so that you would know they are very much um, like House of Glory those are what I would compare them to um, but yeah these are just different they're, they're in a category of their own I absolutely love the scrubs you know me and scrubs and I think I found the you know like the king of scrubs um, I love butter. These are definitely not for people with oily skin. She also has regular lotions, which I did not get, but yeah, I heard those were wonderful. And um, these are gorgeous. Everything is beautiful. These are the balm that bombs right here. <coughs> they taste so good. <coughs> all right, everyone. I'm sorry if my haul was all over the place. I was just super excited to get this. Yeah, I was just so, so excited. My husband was excited. He was stoked. He's gone, he had to go do something, but actually he's out getting a tattoo, but he's coming back and he's going to go through everything. What he did go through, he went through fast. He was walking out the door and then I go, oh my God, look, there's coffee. And he walked back in, let me smell it. So we're, we got to do it a little bit, but he's just so excited and I did tell him thank you and he goes, you're welcome. So we've been having fun with this. Yeah, so Rena loves it. I love it. She said these are the best scents she's ever smelled. And these are the best scrubs. So we are in love with her. Does she live up to the hype? Oh yeah, plus tax. Her stuff is the bomb. You have to try it. If anything you were to ever try, I would say you have to try Mona Lisa's products. They are absolutely wonderful. I cannot brave about these enough. Mona girl, you are awesome. Thank you so much for everything you did for me. Thank you so much for all the extras. We love you, and I definitely am going to go back. Not bad for a first-time shopper. Bye, everyone. God bless. Say bye, hero. Say bye. <laughs> no? No bye? Okay, then. <laughs>